Alrighty, everybody. So, before you guys watch the video, I just need to clar clarify uh, two things. So, first of all, of course, I forgot to do the cheat tag at the end of the video. So, we're doing this again before the video even starts. Now, you guys might be wondering, well, uh, you could just be doing this, you know, before you've done anything about the episode. Just take a look at that. Yep, I think that clears it, basically everything. So, let me just give you guys the cheat tag. So, open up, opening up settings. Um, just waiting for this to load up. And this is in the 1.17.30 update, so a lot of things in the menu section might look a little bit different. But anyways, let's do our cheat check. So as you can see, have not cheated, and again, that is never going to happen. And the final thing that I wanted to clear, clarify was, um, I, you see, I did not did, did not expect the video to be as short as however short it is. I just thought that uh, the skeleton farm would take a longer time than it actually did. So yeah, uh, excuse me for that, but hopefully the next episode will be a little bit longer because we have a lot of stuff to do. Anyways, on with the video. Hello everybody, my name is Sirblocks and welcome back to another episode of the 1.17 Survival World. So last time we were on the world, oh man, last time. If you guys haven't seen that episode, there will be a link on screen right now. Go ahead and watch that episode because we got the best possible luck in Minecraft history. You don't want to miss it. But if you guys haven't seen that episode, let's move on with today's episode. So, last time we were on this world, we got ourselves these two Axel friends right here. Now, I did request you guys to give me some name suggestions for these guys, and you did. So, the name that I liked the most was suggested by Ev and Sakib. They suggested that I name the yellow guy Banana and the uh, brown guy Choco. That's because, of course, they correspond to the corresponding foods. So, I really like that name. And yeah, we will be renaming these guys later on in the episode. But for now, we actually have ourselves a bunch of important stuff to do. But we, even before we do that, uh, we actually need to pop over to the nether because I did some stuff stuff in between episodes not necessarily progress but um yeah let's go just go over to the nether shall we all right so here we are in the nether so uh, i actually hinted this kind of uh, in the last episode that uh, i was kind of sad that the uh, only small sand was down there because as you can see from the top left side of the screen we are at about 90 blocks up in the nether, which is quite a lot if you couldn't realize. So uh, what I had to do was just basically jump down there, get my soul sand and tar back up. Now if you guys are wondering as to, well that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not the bad part. You see, there was just this one block of lava right there, uh, which uh, as soon as I mined it, it flew down the entire staircase and did not give me any time to react and I basically lost everything. So that means that I had to grind back for every single thing that was in my inventory. Now, fortunately, uh, that was actually pretty good because everything that I had in my inventory was just about uh, this state right now. Because And the reason why this is in this state is because, well, uh, I did a lot of stuff off camera as well. But I, but I just thought that I would mention this just because it felt a lot in the moment and yeah, there we go. So anyways, we'll pop back over to the house because if I go through the portal on camera, that's gonna be the end of the video so I'll pop back over to the house and tell you guys what we are going to be doing today all right so here we are back at the house so it's time for me to tell you guys what the plan is for today so today we are basically going to be uh, doing the necessities of any survival world and honestly uh, basically this is a progression step in any type of survival world of course I'm talking about the enchantment setup because with enchantments you can do a bunch of things and honestly again it's a stepping stone to beating the game. So the first thing that comes to mind when you are talking about enchantment setups is the enchantment table itself. Now lucky for us in the last episode we actually had the resources and did make the enchantment table itself. Now you see the thing is an enchantment setup doesn't only require an enchantment table you need things around it to make it work. And one of, one of the things is 15 bookshelves, and for that you need leather and sugarcane. Now thankfully, just by farming cows, I have myself more than enough leather to make uh, 15 bookshelves. Now we kind of fall short on sugarcane, but believe me, I have a method of getting sugarcane. Oh yeah. Now, you see, the thing is, the main thing that we are going to be doing in today's episode, and the, basically the main thing that we need to do, honestly, is to make ourselves an skeleton XP farm because in the last episode we also found ourselves a skeleton mob spawner and using that we can get ourselves infinite levels so that we can enchant at our enchantment setup. 
so that's basically going to be what our main agenda for today is going to be now you see uh for the scale and farm design i'm of course i'm i i i, I just won't design my own scale and farm i think that's pretty obvious but i just, I just thought that i would mention it for, for today, we're going to be using a design by a YouTuber called Waddles. I'll leave his design in the description down below. You guys should definitely check it out because it's a really clever design and I feel like it's like the best one for our world. So there will be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself or even make it in your own survival world. Now, I, I will just get to gathering the resources. Of course, since it's not my design, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on it. However, I will kind of explain the basics of it so that it, at least you guys have an idea as to what I'm doing. So I'll just gather up the resources and I'll see you guys over by the farm itself. So, see you guys at the moss spawner. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the mob spawner itself. Now, uh, as I just said, we are going to be following Waddles' design. But uh, let me just give you guys a basic idea as to how it's going to be working. Just because, uh, again, I don't want you guys to be completely clueless as to what I'm doing, right? So, what, what I'm going to do now is dig out this entire room so that uh, the there is a complete 9x9 nine nine room around this mob spawner. Uh, which is going to be the spawning space for all of the skeletons. And the skeletons are going to spawn and they're going to fall down into a water trench that's going to pull push them off into a one block trench which is going to push them into one bubble column which is going to push them upwards and there's going to be a bit of water there that is going to just slide them uh, across and they're going to fall down into a one block where I'm going to be standing there and basically just one hitting them until they are dead. Uh, so that way we can get the XP, we can get the loot, and yeah, basically everything else. So this, this again, really clever design, and yeah, basically I'm just now gonna get to the get to the grind, and basically it's going to be a timeless time. Now the timeless is going to be a little bit different than you what you're used to. I mean, I guess used to my channel because it's going to be a normal timeless. And if you guys haven't watched any other timeless. On this channel, I basically tend to do time lapses like very short. Like it's very rare that I will do a 15 second or more time lapse. So I think this time lapse might be 30 seconds. Who knows? But I uh, yeah, I just thought that I would mention that. Now let's get into the time lapse itself. Roll the music. Alrighty guys, so about one and a half hours of building this farm, I am finally complete. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Now you see, if the time lapse feels a little bit incomplete, uh, that is kind of the case. So Waddles actually built this design uh, before the 1.13 bedrock update. Now in that update, you could actually make uh, bubble columns without using all water source blocks basically meaning that after you have the whole thing installed if you just pour water on the top of the soul sand block all of the blocks in between will automatically turn into water source blocks you see after 1.13 they made it so that every single block in a bubble column has to be a water source block so you see the easy easy way to do that is to use kelp now since i haven't quite found an ocean i mean i have actually but i i couldn't actually remember where it was so i didn't have kelp on me so i spent about a good 40 minutes making a 20 block bubble column using pure water source blocks it was an absolute disaster but finally we are done so as you, you guys can probably hear the bubble columns right now those guys swish up go move over a little bit and they they fall down and since they are, there are a few piled up here let me just give you guys a demonstration as to how this thing works i just basically smack all of these guys and they give me a bunch of experience and all of the stuff that they uh, uh you know i guess 
stuff goes into these hoppers and they go into these chests. Now, occasionally I will pick up something just because uh, since I also want XP, I need to get a reasonable distance away so that the XP can flow over to me without gathering any stuff. So sometimes I will pick up some random stuff. But most of the time, they go into these chests and these are the things that I have gathered so far. Of course, I have 21 arrows on me that I, of course, didn't have when I was making the farm. So yeah, that's that. So that is going to do it for the skeleton farm. Now we're going to go back over to our house. And believe it or not, we are basically all the way there so to where we can actually make our enchantment setup. So I'll head over to the house and I'll see you guys there so we can make our enchantment setup. So see you guys back at the house. Alright guys, so here we are back at our base. So I told you guys at the start, beginning of the episode that I had myself a way that we can get sugarcane without it being an absolute issue. So before I tell you guys how that is going to work, let me just kill the zombie. Alright, there we go. So as you guys can see, we have ourselves a really big sugarcane farm. And it actually has produced quite a bit of sugarcane. As you can see, I have 29 in my inventory. And I har if I harvest all of this, I would say I would have a solid 50. But you see, none of that matters. Just because if I um, do a bit of this, that and that you see i have myself one block of sugarcane right and now i actually picked up the bones that i just had uh, le left over in my uh, storage system uh, these are not from the skeleton farm that we just built these are from uh, bones that i just had from fighting skeletons so i'm just gonna turn a bit of them into bone meal and this trick only works on bad drug addition so you best believe i'm gonna abuse it to absolute heck if i if I just do a little bit of this, as you can see, we can bone meal sugarcane. This is not possible in Java edition, at least at the last I heard, it was not possible. And believe me, this needs to be a thing on Java edition as well because it makes complete sense. Like, if you are rich, you should be able to use that wealth to get yourself things fast. Now, lucky for us, I don't need to worry at whatsoever when it comes to... Uh, bone meal because I have infinite of it. If I spend enough time in the skeleton farm, I'm gonna have infinite uh, infinite bone meal. So I, I like I can just go ham at the sugar cane and just get get how much I need to. And the good thing is that it's not even one sh bone meal for one block of sugar cane. It's like one bone meal for two sugar cane. Like this is this is absolute cheat mode. So yeah, um, I'm absolutely just gonna grind myself out doing this. But after that, I'll catch you guys back up, back up uh, to actually make our uh, enchantment setup and after that we'll name our excellent all the friends right there and we'll end the episode there now i'm not gonna do any type of building in this episode just because i feel like we have done quite a bit and honestly uh it's just building and i think you guys have seen enough building with the house itself so i'm just gonna build uh the mob spawner room what i basically where I kill the skeletons. I'll decorate that and I'll also make a good looking enchantment setup. But before that, let me just get grab the sugar cane and I'll make the enchantment setup with you guys just in a little bit. Alrighty everybody, so I just made myself the bookshelves that I told you guys that I would make. I also gathered myself all the lapis that I have that I'm gonna put in a chest near the enchantment setup just because uh, I wouldn't need to just run back and forth between my store system and my enchantment setup just to get the lapis to enchant. I also got myself the anvil and the grindstone to uh, both enchant and disenchant enchantments uh, if I don't like them. And yeah, so let me just show you guys how I like to build my enchantment setup. So first of all, we of course have to have ourselves the enchantment table right in the smack down middle. Also, I decided that I wanted to make this uh, pretty much near the far farms and all that so that uh, when I'm farming, if I feel like it, I can come back and um, do some enchanting. But I feel like that was a bit too far, so I think that is gonna just have to do. So after that, uh, here is where people T tend to you know kind of di differ off so you need to place 15 bookshelves uh, uh, in the distance of one block in between the bookshelf and the uh, enchantment table and you can go up to two blocks now I personally what I like to do is first of all go up like two blocks out and then basically just go around the entire um, enchantment setup just so, um, just so it's, it's like a complete ring almost so yeah, I, I, like in my opinion, this this just feels like the better better option. You could place some bookshelves on top of here. That could definitely work. 
But in my opinion, I just like to um, do things a little bit like this. Now, uh, just the thing that I kind of suffer on is like um, the corners, like uh, the corners. Here and I guess yeah yeah that makes kind of sense and if I just put in an item as you can see we get ourselves to a level 30 enchantment so uh, after that basically we want to place down uh, all of these so I'm gonna put down the chest um, on the left side of the enchantment setup and uh, maybe let's do it maybe on the corner like um, here I think that that looks a little bit better let's put the grindstone down here and since the anvil is the most used thing uh, in an enchantment setup, apart from of course the enchantment table, let's put it smack down in the metal and we will also fill this thing up with lapis. And yeah, so well we are pretty much done with our enchantment setup. Like this is the complete enchantment setup. I need to kind of light this up but apart from that, like uh, the only thing that is pretty much left to do is to make this look a little bit more pretty and yeah that is pretty much about it so there you go a complete enchantment setup now i did promise you guys that i would uh, rename all those two axolotls right there so let me just also show you guys how to do this while we are on camera so first of all i'm gonna grab a block to tower up there and just like so myself I'm pretty sure uh, some name tags so I can rename them if I want to do so it's not that big of a deal but let me just put this guy back in the tank and then we will call it an episode so it's been quite an episode we've done pr a lot of uh, progress but yeah I guess we are now done and the goal of the episode we set out was to make the enchantment setup and as it is glowing the night as you can see over there we are complete with our goal so yeah gu yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's episode of the 1.17 survival world if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure the like button and if you guys want to stick around for more of this series and more videos by me in general make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications but with all that being said guys that's gonna do it for today's episode hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye <laughs>